So last night, guys, Diablo 4 received the patch of 1.0.4. It was quite late, but I know there's a lot of UK folks that probably won't be aware of this a lot of european folks that probably won't be aware of this but don't worry guys today i have you covered we're going to check out the entirety of the patch notes together so let's go how's it going guys my name is dpj and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe so let's just get straight into it guys okay so bug fixes and gameplay fixed an issue where the damage multiplier for an enhanced frozen orb wasn't applying correctly. Fix an issue where enemies with the vortex of fix would deal damage through immunity. Didn't know that was the case. Fix an issue where the elixir of expertise uh, was reducing resource cost by 10% instead of displayed 20% value. Okay. So fix an issue where the damage bonus from the Paragon Subdue Glyph would be applied to any target instead of only vulnerable targets. Man, why do I always miss these things? Fix an issue where the Barbarian's Whirlwind ability would briefly stop channeling when a cooldown skill was cast while using it. Pretty cool. Fix an issue where the guaranteed overpower buff from the Barbarian's Earth Strike aspect would be consumed upon gaining any other buff. Uh, fix an issue where the player character would freeze when using the rogue shadow step skill if used outside the range of your intended target. Oh, so there's plenty of fixes here. Fix an issue where the player could not rotate when casting a channeled skill if using a one handed weapon with no off hand item equipped. Okay, so fix an issue where the curse scrolls in Fuels of Hatred had a lower cooldown than the displayed 5 minute cooldown. Fix an issue where the aspects that deal flat damage imprinted through the codex of power scaled with player level instead of item power. That's actually quite interesting. I might have tried that actually. Fix an issue where the aspects that deal flat damage imprinted through the codex of power scaled with player level instead of the item power. Hmm, that is actually quite a. That could mean a. I'll have to test. I'll have to test that. Okay, so fixing the issue where the Necromancer's Shadow Mages weren't applying extra shadow damage through the Shadow Blight Keeper. What? I didn't even realize that was a thing either. Mate, these, the, the minions and Necromancer, they need a serious buff. They really do. Fix an issue where cheat death effects would not trigger if you died while mounted. Okay, so cool. Okay, so quests and dungeons, people. Fix an issue where a traversal wouldn't appear during the blind eye quest, blocking progression. Fix an issue uh, where the mother's judgment enemy would spawn before the player entered the encounter during the whispers from the past quest. Fix multiple issues where quest progress would be blocked if the player used a town portal during specific sequences. Fix an issue or fix various issues that prevented progression from multiple quests. Okay, so fix an issue where the Forgotten Depths dungeon had one fewer prisoners to release than intended. Uh, fixed an issue where teleporting to Wedgin, I can't even pronounce that people, during which the waste quest would force the player to stop the vial of Quicksilver, despite the time being an allowed area for the quest. Okay, cool. Okay, so fix an issue where their courses refuge, Howling Warren and the Lubin's Rest dungeons couldn't be completed if the butcher appeared and was not killed. Ooh, that would have been painful. Cause I know there's still a lot of people that can't kill the butcher. <clears throat> but man, imagine him blocking progression on a dungeon. Wow, that'd be that'd be that'd be craziness. Okay, so fix an issue where the treasure goblin slain in a nightmare dungeon with the death pulse affix would deal significantly more damage. Than intended with its post death explosion. Quite cool. I've, I've barely seen, to be honest, I've barely seen a treasure goblin. I've uh, actually come across three in a, um, a cellar. Three treasure goblins, but I don't, I've seen probably one or two in a dun nightmare dungeon. Okay, so fixing an issue with a large quest wouldn't probably be completed. Cool. Okay, so UI, um, I'll keep these on screen for a few seconds, people. Not really that much of interest to me, but guys, if you want to read through them, Pause the video and be my guest. Okay, so we're going to move on to miscellaneous now. Okay, so fix an issue where the NPC Arlo couldn't be interacted with. Fix an issue where the Players of Hatred Killer cosmetic set was missing helmets for Druid Necromancer and the Rogue. 
fixing an issue where the cost of the sturdy saddle cosmetic from the stable vendor would scale with the player character's level. Okay. Okay, so fix an issue where the player could lure their Steven Abomination boss in the azure the fields of hatred zone to a location where they could damage it but it couldn't damage them hey sneaky bastards okay so fix an issue where the mount cosmetics would not properly display if applied while actively mounted fix an issue where the camera would pan from the point of death back to the respawn point instead of instantly moving for players in local co-op okay Fix an issue where the player and NPC would disappear during a dialogue sequence if the player was actively under the effect of a conduit shrine. The monetary strikes again. <laughs> okay, so various localization fixes, various other interface and accessibility improvements, uh, further stability, performance, and visual improvements across all platforms, and fix an issue where transmog on offhand items for sorcerers would reset upon performing any inventory action okay so gameplay adjustments and this is it guys how tight chest can now drop unique items what okay so that's a big one that is a big one people because i am chasing those uniques i mean i've got the uniques for the necromancer but they're just it's lower than i need i need them higher now i need end game versions okay so the bosses uh vineyard uh brawl and syrak uh is that how that's pronounced probably not have had their health pools and damage output reduced okay cool the cap for crafting materials has been increased from 9999 to 99999 okay so that's cool as well that's actually a decent change and there we have it guys those are the changes with the patch of 1.04 which will be on your platforms as of right now and there we have it guys Guys, if you did enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.